Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are uh, going to learn about uh, uh, phase two software. We are getting started to it. So, uh, first, uh, we should know that this software is uh, it was developed by Rock Science, uh, and uh, it is a complete two uh, D uh, package uh, for uh, geotechnical analysis of both uh, soil and rock. So let's get started to it. First, let's go to analysis and go to project settings. Here we have various options, general stages, stress analysis and many more. Uh, for First, uh, let's go to general. In general, we have analysis type, solver type and units. For this, let's go to analysis type, plain strain analysis. And the solver type is Gaussian elimination. We have various options here, but let's leave it as it is. Then we have unit as metric, stress as MPA. Then press OK. Then we have to give boundary for our tunnel. We are going to make a tunnel here. So we have for go to boundaries tab and go to add excavation. Then we'll have this um, appear as a uh, blue background and we have here at uh, bottom right corner enter vertex first we have to give the vertex for the uh, for our tunnel so, uh, so let's give a vertex uh, give vertex minus 5 and 10 gives a point here likewise minus 5 and zero gives a vertical line <laughs> likewise five zero gives horizontal line and enter five ten which gives another vertical line now we have to close this tunnel with arc so here options are given a equals to arc so let's give a. So let's enter three points arc. Uh, in this dialog box, uh, no, other another option is here number of segments. Let's enter twenty and okay. Then this arc is shown. So let's give arc point, which is zero fifteen is a second arc point and to close it we uh, to close it let's do c which closes this is our tunnel now we have to give boundary for this tunnel up to which we are going to do the analysis so boundaries add external in this external uh, let's choose the boundary type as box and the ex ex expansion factor let's leave as it is as 3. So it gave the external boundary. Now we have in uh, as this phase 2 software follows a, a finite element method so we have to make mess and discretize it. So, go to mesh and go to mesh setup. In this mesh setup, we have uh, graded, uniform, radial, non in, no internal uh, nodes. We have different options. So, let's choose as graded. Element type uh, can be chosen uh, here as three noded triangle, six noded triangle and quadrilaterals as well. So, let's choose three noded triangle here and the gradation factor let's leave as it is and the uh, number of uh, number of nodes uh, on all excavation can also be entered so let's enter it as 60 then press ok here we can go to again go to the mesh setup and discretize it and uh, this dialog box 
discretizes the power tunnel. Then we have to use mesh. Then it does the missing of the uh, missing of our boundary. Then press OK. Now we can see that here discretization is done and after the discretization now we are going to give the uh, field stresses for this we are going to go to loading tab and go to field stress for field stress we have we will use field stress type as constant and uh, we will uh, use uh, sigma 1 as 20 MPA, Sigma 3 as 10 MPA, Sigma Z as 10 MPA and angle will be used as 30 degree from horizontal. Then press OK. Here the difference can be seen of the angle. Then we have to uh, uh, provide properties of rock mass so we will go to properties tab and go to define material to define material here let's enter it as rock mass then uh, the material color can be changed here the default let's leave it and the in, uh, initial uh, element loading here different options are given so let's uh, let's use field stress only for now then uh, we have poison stress ratio let's use it as 0.2 young's modulus is given let's leave as it is then the uh, strength parameters for strength parameters um, Failure criterion, different criteria, uh, different ways are given. Let's use more column. Then uh, a tensile strength is used as zero. A friction angle is used as it is. And cohesion, let's enter it as 12. Then the material type is used as elastic let's do ok now now after providing the material here we can see that uh, missing is done inside the tunnel also so we have to excavate this part for this let's go to properties and let's go to assign properties now select this excavate option and here a plus can be seen at the cursor let's move it aside and click here we can see that the tunnel is now excavated this is the finished model form for our tutorial now let's save it okay uh, let's save this as quick try save now let's compute this After saving the file, we need to analyze this model. So, uh, let's go to analysis and go to compute. This will replace the previous result. Continue. Yes. Now, the computation is done. Likewise, computation can also be done using this icon here, compute. Again, yes. 
then computation is done again now to show the analyzed form we sh we can go to analysis and go to interpret likewise go to interpret here directly now go to interpret this shows the by default phase 2 shows this principal stress measure principal stress sigma 1 here contour plot can be seen of this sigma 1 here the color variations and their respective values can be shown here can be seen here and it can be seen that the highest concentration of stress is at corner now we can also view minor principal stress sigma 3 here likewise we also can view total displacement of tunnel here we can see the displacement walls they have the highest values here we can also view how the deform view how the deformation is uh, how the deformation occurs in this tunnel for this we can go to display deformation vectors this icon this shows the deformation vectors likewise the uh, display deform uh, deformed boundaries shows how the boundary is deformed due to the field stresses likewise display deformation contours shows how deformation occurs along with its deformed values here so this is for today's video. Thank you for watching.